Hey, what's up guys? This is Astronox. Let me talk about my fourth account in Epic 7. Why make a fourth account? Well, now was the best time for it for me because Seaside Bellona. Limited hero that is overpowered. I decided to go for it now because she's not going to show up for another year. There's Seaside Bellona. There is Karen for free from the side story. That's already very, very good. Now I'm going with uh, Sigrid. Sigrid as my selective summon. So four phones, re-rolling on four phones, getting Sigrid uh, from selective summon, which, which was fairly fast. I mean, uh, like maybe two, two hours, uh, something like that. Yeah. So I get Sigrid, that's it. I don't care what else I get. I just uh, push through, start, uh, you know, progressing in the game. And I was basically uh, farming, you know, Wyvern Hunt, uh, stage 5, which was very easy to do. I could do 6-2, but 5 was uh, fast. So I was doing that, and then with the gold, I would just do secret shop refreshes. Just do secret shop refreshes, get covenant bookmarks and mystic medals, go for it, try to summon Seaside Bellona. The, I just want that pair, Seaside Bellona with Sigrid. This is uh, the worst account. I'm going from the, in terms of luck, from the worst to the best account, right? It's been uh, over two days, two days and four hours since I started. This one, this account I gave up on. Let me show you here. I tried to summon on Seaside Bellona's ban banner 25 times, didn't pan out. Didn't get uh, the artifact as well. And here in Mystic Summon, I got some Mystic Medals from the Secret Shop refreshes. Yeah, no Bueno here, no uh, Tamarine, uh, nothing crazy, no, no uh, Purple Shine. So that's it. I was done with this account and uh, I drained the, their sky stones as well. Uh, so yeah, that, that was rough. Like after a day it was already starting to be bad because doing Wyvern Hunt uh, stage five was not a good idea. You can see Angelica at the table and uh, Sigrid. So let me just show you uh, the account real quick. The rosters of heroes. So uh, free spirit area, everyone gets her perfect hero for uh, just progressing in the game, debuff, defense break, attack break. You can check my showcases of MLT area, free spirit area, if you want to see her in action. Great hero. You don't need a farmer anymore because she is it, plus she uh, helps you uh, with uh, all sorts of stuff in the game. So Sigrid, right? Uh, Goddess in Wyvern, so much damage, so many debuffs. Kizuna AI, we're getting her for free. Uh, you know, she can be a five star uh, after you log in, uh, you know, for, for a week or what, what is it? Like six days, you get enough copies for uh, five starring her. Very uh, solid hero, man. Solid hero. Check out my showcase of Kizuna AI. So Morency would be my frontliner, my healer, and I'm perfectly fine with that. But I pulled Angelica on this account. To me, that's still not good enough. I need Seaside Bellona. That's the whole purpose. So I had to ditch this account. And uh, there's Kyrus here. Uh, and uh, there's no Tarnar guard. So yeah, I, I dumped this account. Let's move on to uh, that second account and see how well it performed. This is account number two in term of uh, from worst to best luck. And uh, we can see Akates at the table. Let's just go check uh, the roster of heroes. This account, I got Elena from Daily Covenant Summit. From my daily, I got Elena. I was like, what? Yeah, that would have been real cool if I pulled Seaside Bellona on this account. But it didn't happen. It didn't happen. And uh, But we do have Sigrid, right? We have, uh, well, Elena, Momorancy, of course. Everyone gets her for free. Kizuna for now, yes, for free. Akates, that's really nice. And uh, there's also, well, Crozet. His connection takes a bit of time to actually get going. I mean, he's there. Uh, there is also Mystic Shane, and there is Tarnar Guard. So, I mean, we got the Wyvern 13 team, no problem already. Uh, there's there's Kyrus, I, I don't know how to pronounce her name, I forgot, Kyrus or Kyrus, I think it's Kyrus. So yeah, it, it looked pretty good, but no Seaside Bellona, so I couldn't go through with this account, and uh, I was just like doing secret shop refreshes, getting bookmarks, getting, you know, uh, Mystic Medals. And here I went uh, 21 summons, right? Uh, I went 21 summon, and here I got three mystic summons, and uh, it didn't pan out. So uh, yeah, let me let me move on to uh, that uh, account number three that I was uh, re-rolling. 
So the account number three that I was re-rolling, this one at the table, nothing special. I mean, free heroes plus cigarette. Let's go in there. I do have sky stones, but I don't buy covenant bookmarks using sky stones. I do secret shop refreshes because I, I, I need some sky stones to actually convert into energy to progress uh, after. So yeah. So this account, yes, uh, I from a daily covenant summon, the same time I was doing all of them, Elena on one account, the account before, the second one, and on this third one, I got Charles from the Daily Covenant Center. I've never seen that before. Never seen that before. I don't know what was going on, but man, oh man. I was really hyped for this account. I wish I could have pulled Seaside Bellona because Charles Seaside Bellona. But Charles doesn't help in Wyvern. He doesn't help in Wyvern and it's about getting gear and being efficient. So Wyvern is top priority. So that's why I go Cigarette. Uh, so Cigarette... You know, uh, Angelic Momorancy after specialty change. Charles not helping there, but for PvP and other content. Yeah, that's that's cool. What else do we have on this account? Let's sort this by grade here. What else do we have? Sid. Yeah, my boy Sid is here. I mean, uh, showcased him plenty of times on account number one. An amazing hero. So I figured, man, man that would be really nice if I can pull uh, Seaside on this account. But yeah, what else do I have? Uh, there's Clurry. Carrot. Lena. Lena's here. I mean, my speed farmer. My go-to girl for speed farming in the game. Lena. Uh, so good. Yeah, I pulled her and I pulled Ethan as well. I mean, that, that was so good. There's so many things. Tarnar Guard is here as well. Alexa, we get her from, for free from the connection. Uh, so yeah, this account had a lot of potential. But I couldn't pull Seaside Bellona. Let's look at how many... Simmons have I done on her banner? Wow, I went crazy on this account. This account, I went completely crazy. 41 Simmon. I was like, that, that's the last two accounts. This one and the other one that, that rolled better. Those were the last two. And I was like, which one I'm going to choose? I need to get Seaside. So yeah, uh, couldn't pull her. Couldn't pull her. And Mystic Simmon. Only two Mystic Simmon on this account. So I, I'm close to a, you know, a Moonlight Salmon with the Gold Transmit Stone there, but you know, I, I, could, I could continue playing it, but I don't really care about Moonlight Salmon's really early on. Uh, it's about Wyvern uh, 13. Uh, so yeah, anyways, let's move on to account number four, the one that was my luckiest, and let's see what I actually managed to get there. This is it. This is my fourth account in Epic 7, my fourth free-to-play account in Epic 7, I got her. I got Seaside Bellona. Out of the four accounts I was re-rolling for, playing them for over a day, all of them dropping two after a day and a half, and leaving the last two, uh, the one that got Charles before, couldn't manage to get Seaside. Uh, man, too bad. But this account actually turned out real good. You'll see why in a second. So it's been... Uh, over two days, two days and almost five hours so far. And Adventurous Pad, I just need to promote a hero to six star, which is going to be uh, Momorancy, my frontliner. I uh, want to do her specialty change as well. So, yeah, Cigarette and Seaside Bellona, uh, great, perfect combination for, uh, for Wyvern. And uh, let's, let's see what else do I actually got out of, uh, out of this account. Okay. Yes. Yes. I got Lilius. I got Lilius. So Seaside Bellona took actually like 20 summons. Man, I was super hyped when that happened. I didn't get her drink, but it's all good. Rosa Hargana is actually uh, for sale in the powder shop. And yeah, I got Lilius after like two or three summons. You can see her legendary weapon right now that I have equipped on her. Yeah, that's just temporary gear. I just wanted to activate the speed set. It's whatever. And the artifact is to farm currency right now. So, yeah, the, the side story. Uh, basically, uh, Karen for free. So, uh, yeah. So, I have her as well. Uh, Kizuna AI. Lots. I have lots. Green lots on this account. Pretty cool. Roman. Dingo I actually got uh, from some Covenant Summons. I was doing uh, Covenant Summons, actually. I'm not summoning on banners anymore. And Karen right here. I do not have Tarnar Guard on uh, this account. Uh, Rosie, good. But yeah, I mean, it, it's all good. Uh, 
I will do uh, my, my team for uh, Wyvern is actually going to be Seaside and uh, Sigrid and Angelic Momorancy, the specialty change of Momorancy. And the fourth one will be maybe I just go with Karen. I, I might just go with Karen or maybe Tarnar Guard. I'm not sure 100% yet, but I feel like maybe Karen. The problem is this the prime is this, guys. Uh, I don't have Daydream Joker. I don't have Daydream Joker. I, I can't get it. But look at these artifacts. Today I got Bloody uh, Rose. Not planning to use it just yet. Wind Rider. Uh, yeah, I, I got that as well. Uh, trying to get uh, Seaside Bellona. Uh, Sepulchrum. I'm using that on Free Spirit Sierra. It's upping her survival. Working out pretty well. And Hellcutter. Always a great artifact for Warrior. Rosa Hargana. Yeah, I got this thing. Uh, Cy Cyrus Ren, not bad. Tagiel's Ancient Book, nice. Uh, Steadfast uh, Gatekeeper could use that on Lilius, but I'm going to be using uh, Halag Glance on her instead. Wondrous Potion Vial when trying to do Mystic Summons. Silver Rain uh, for getting the attack buff. It's, it's all pretty good. Death Devil as well. But yeah, I need Daydream Joker. This is going to be massive though. Uh, Prophetic Candlestick, not bad, not bad. Uh, Envoy's Pipe. We'll see what I actually go on uh, Momorancy for the front line. Maybe Envoy's Pipe. Uh, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, so, yeah. The gear, that's the stats right now. That's the free gear. You know, plus 12. This is plus 10. Plus 12. Look at that speed, man. Plus 12. This thing, uh, I don't know about value. I didn't calculate. I'm not going to calculate this on this video, but uh, some of them actually rolled pretty well. Some of them rolled pretty well. This didn't roll so well. But yeah, Free Spirit Tiara, Tiara she's using the speed set. She goes first, applies a defense break. There's a cigarette. She's on the destruction uh, and crit set. Uh, this is working out just fine. Look at her effectiveness. And uh, yeah, I'm actually liking this. And uh, yeah, if I had the Dream Joker though, uh, yeah, it'd be perfect. 100% crit chance uh, against uh, fire. But wouldn't need the hell uh, cutter. And Lilius, well, uh, I don't know, I could uh, turn off her skill, trigger dual attack, stuff like that. Man, I'm going to be using Lilius in all sorts of content in the game, so that's perfect. I uh, can't wait to uh, try this team. I'll actually show you guys how this team actually uh, performs. Momorancy, she's definitely not built yet. I'm going to be using uh, uh, speed set on her, or I'm going to be using the, the free gear that is given to us from, uh, you know... The, the beginner login rewards. There's the attack set, which is on uh, Seaside Bellona. I'm actually going to be getting uh, this here after I promote a hero to six star, which is going to be either uh, Angelic Momorancy or Seaside Bellona. I might actually go with uh, Seaside Bellona first, and then it's going to be Angelic Momorancy. Uh, I feel like her survival is going to be good enough. And uh, yeah, Seaside, she's my farmer as well. So I'm going to be getting the uh, the attack set here and the crit set. It's going to be pretty hype. And uh, there's going to be the gold transmit stones as well. And uh, yeah, my Moonlight Summon that I got from 1010 was actually uh, Requiem Roar. Where is she at? Maybe you guys noticed her already before. There, it was Requiem Roar. And uh, for the summons, how many Mystic Summons I actually did... Yeah, it was only four, and I'm missing a gold transmit stone. I could get it from this, uh, from summoning more Covenant summons, or uh, that's why I I'm chasing Daydream Joker uh, by doing Covenant summons so far, uh, for now. So yeah, and uh, what can we see here? In adventure, my progression is up to uh, here. You know, I did 10-10, and then I, I calmed down after that. I was doing side story because that's way more important. I didn't get into uh, unrecorded history just yet. And uh, the side story, man, uh, so good. The timing with uh, Seaside, you know, these. Uh, this is so great. And uh, this as well. How did it roll, actually? I'll show you guys right here. Let me sort this by, uh, might as well go by level. Oh, wait, that's weapons. Yeah, that's the ring. Uh, rolled more survival. And uh, there's here the, this necklace as well. A lot of stuff to enhance. But uh, I'm sticking with uh, the item level 70, 75. And destruction actually rolled pretty uh, decently on some piece. This is not good though. But yeah, uh, I'll just enhance the ones that rolled better uh, higher. And uh, yeah, a lot of good rewards here. Karen was great. And uh, there's also the epic pass I'm working toward. I'm almost done sort of. You can see the progression here. 
26, I'll get the gold transmit stone missing here for a Moonlight Salmon. And that's very cool, very cool. All this stuff happening at the same time. Still have uh, quite a few Sky Stones. Leafs, I have, well, only nine, but I need to progress and adventure three star stages so I can get more Sky Stones, more Lagoras as well for Unrecorded History and uh, in Episode 2 as well. And a lot of progression to do. And I actually need to uh, rename this account, so we'll just do it now. There it is, gonna rename the account, Astronox TV 4 Okay, let's do it up. This is actually on the global server. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, yeah, I mean, I just went with global. It's, it's all good. Automated tower, uh, I'm on floor 80. I need to clear that. It's, uh, it's actually a big uh, difficulty increase from 79. And uh, spirit altar, well, I need to actually push these all these uh this is i can do floor uh, nine from the frost spirit altar i didn't try to push uh, further than that but yeah i, I should up all these uh these uh, stages before uh you know it starts to be only one spirit altar that is up so i can get a bunch of uh you know um runes from the reputation as well in the abyss i have to wait uh, I'm not going to be spending leave to actually uh, increase uh, this stuff here, these uh, entry tickets. Labyrinth, I'm just pushing as I get the tickets. So that's the plan, rating, well it's not going to be f just yet, I have to progress to there. And Hall of Trials, well I need to actually uh, get some more points uh, before this actually ends. <laughs> that was uh, very early on, I just wanted to buy the uh, exclusive equipment for uh, Cigarette actually. And I didn't get the one I want. I want the one that uh, actually gives her the uh, chance to apply bleed, which is going to be uh, nicer. The second one, increase the chance of inflicting bleeding when using sever by 20%. That, that's the one I want to use. So, yeah. Now, let's, uh, let's just see here. Hunt stage 9. I mean, I need to build Angelic Momorancy because she's gonna be my frontliner and she can sustain the group uh this is just for sort of like speed running but i'm not running uh wyvern i'm not running wyvern i'm just progressing in uh while well, the side story i had to take care of that a lot of catalyst that i need to actually uh get from there i'm almost done so after that i can progress in uh, adventure in uh, episode two uh, so there's quite a few rewards there and uh, there's three starring every stage that's sky stones that's molagoras and i can go back and three star a bunch of stages i need to get my uh uh what's called the thing uh breath of orbises so i can unlock more things in the sanctuary so many things to do uh the epic pass i'll get that naturally to uh rank 30 for the additional uh, rewards and uh, all six star uh, seaside Bellona first and then it's gonna be angelic momorancy i'll get the gold transmit stone maybe i look out on the moonlight seven don't think so but you never know and uh it's about getting daydream joker so i'm just gonna be doing a bunch of covenant summons as i get the covenant bookmarks to try to get it because the plan is just to get my uh wyvern team going it, it's it's uh you know wyvern has to be farmed for the gear and uh that is super super important so that's definitely what I'm working uh, toward. And uh, I mean, the gear is, uh, is not so good. I mean, the gear is not so good on, uh, on my heroes. Uh, but yes, there is the item level 70 and item level 75 gear that is pretty good. This is just not working out, man. This is not working out so good. Uh, I guess the success rate is not good at all. It's not about farming this. So, uh, yeah, when I get uh, Momorancy and I need to work on her specialty change as well, a bunch of catalysts I need to work toward to uh, actually, uh, you know, do the skill ups. But this was not an account to like speed push and try to do a higher stage of uh, Wyvern as fast as possible. It was about re taking my time to reroll. I didn't, I didn't take that much time, but it went well. So, yeah, it's not about using free to play friendly heroes, it's about just getting. Uh, you know, great heroes and just like, uh, just doing good in the game. So, yeah. And here an adventure. Yeah, I definitely uh, need to progress and uh, can get uh, adventure RAS as well later on. But that's a lot of stuff that needs to be done here. 
Uh, AP Exchange, I need to work toward that as well. Uh, easy way to get some catalyst that I uh, definitely need for skilling uh, up my heroes. And here, uh, Seaside Bellona, I skilled her this way so far. 100% chance here, more damage here. Effect chance here. And uh, my cigarette, I went uh, for... I, I, can, I don't need catalysts. I don't need catalysts for the first two on her, so that's good because I don't have... I don't have them, and somehow I decided to do this here. I didn't know, uh, whatever. It's one more Ligora, and this hero is actually amazing. Um, but I probably wouldn't have put it there. I'm gonna be using her mostly for the debuffs, to be honest. And Lilia, she doesn't need skill ups just yet. Uh, she can definitely wait. She can definitely wait. The minus one turn cooldown are great, though. Uh, so yeah, need to get her to uh, level uh, 50, Momorancy, so I can start the specialty change. Very cool, very cool, and uh, yeah, the plan for this account is just to uh, progress pretty fast and do, uh, you know, a bunch of guides for, uh, you know, starter uh, players, uh, new players, uh, early game players, mid game players, late game players, and uh, do them as I progress, sort of deal, and uh, yeah, that's going to be a lot of information, a lot of uh, stuff that, uh, that needs to be on my channel, uh, go more like in depth with uh you know the the steps to actually you know do good in the game and uh do the right choices and not waste your uh, resources because they are very uh, precious of course so that's the plan and uh, i definitely did get lucky but i had to play four accounts which was uh quite something so right now in the side story i'm actually uh i got some stuff here yeah i, I still need to uh get more stuff but here that's pretty much done the the runes actually they are efficient to be gotten and uh so i'll i'll work on that and here i got this as well so just to show you like uh i just use seaside i just use seaside and it works out uh, working out just great and i'm gonna be using her as my farmer i don't need like pure speed uh I use my other account to uh, help myself with uh, the epic hell uh you know stage because it's definitely not the uh, not easy i'm just forming normal difficulty i got my blood lead karen from uh my other account here let's just whatever and uh that's basically it i'm just now i have pet it's unlocked at account uh, level 35 so that's great uh, i don't need to pay that much attention anymore for chess and uh golden portals and all that so that's good and uh seaside she's definitely overpowered and she'll be fine on rosa hargana i don't need the her artifact because i mean it's not gonna be like uh i'm not gonna be try harding pvp on this account it's just like a brand new one i mean it's just over uh, two days old and uh i'm getting experience on lilius and uh making fathers uh three star max level and i need to make a bunch of two star max level i need to get more two star uh, fathers you guys know that's the process i need to get a bunch of uh, uh five star fathers to make six stars and uh after i got seaside and i feel the tankiness of momorancy is pretty good i might uh, try to push in uh, in wyvern but yeah i might just end up six starring two of them before i really push but we'll see i'll get a feel for it i feel like the smarter play would be like if i had daydream joker that's why i want a six star uh, seaside uh, first if i had daydream joker i could just go and six star momorancy and just go from there the thing is she needs her specialty change which is going to be uh, taking quite a bit of time so that's a lot of grinding that's that's easily like a day gone already and the amount of runes that i actually need to get that's why like if you get like the starter account with like cigarette and angelica you you save so much time and resources if you're trying to rush for a high floor of uh wyvern or like just straight up like uh you know wyvern uh stage 13 you save a lot of time this way and uh yeah i mean i i don't have the gear level and the daydream jokers and all that to just go with a, a knight in front like a crowzette just make him super tanky and jo just go ham from there uh it could work the success rate is going to be uh, pretty bad i think but it could definitely work with the free starter gear from uh you know uh the login rewards we get now as uh well everyone got that but for, uh, new players they, they they're getting that and man it's definitely helping that attack set and health set they are huge but 
yeah, just wanted to uh, show you guys how my progression went. Uh, why I didn't make videos in the past two days? It's just I've been like going crazy with the re-rolling because I saw the opportunity because you know Seaside Ballona is there. I wanted to start with uh, Cigarette because she's she got buffed. She's great, exclusive equipment and all that. Just a, a goddess in uh, in in Wyvern. It's just so so easy with her. With Seaside, then it's like next level easy mode. And uh, you throw in Karen for free? I mean, why not, man? Why not? That's basically the team that I'm running on one of my account. Uh, account number three on the Europe server. Account two, I got Karen built. I mean, all that stuff. I mean, it's working out just great. Now I have Lilius on here. Man, I uh, can't, can't, can't wait to uh, progress some more with this account. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but remember like everything is uh, possible and doable in this game with uh, just three star heroes And I have a bunch of guys about this stuff and group compositions for clearing like uh, this and that So you might want to check them out, but that's gonna be it for this one guys Thanks for watching I'm Astronox like comment and subscribe for more press the bell icon for like to be notified when I release a new video and check out my other videos They should be showing up on the screen now. I got two playlists. I got uh, PvP hero showcases on the top left and top right I got my guide tips how to's uh, more playlists under my channel uh, so yeah I mean uh, over a thousand epic 7 videos I'm not planning to stop anytime soon now with four accounts is a lot of uh, dedication a lot of time that I invest in this game but I'm enjoying it and uh, yeah I mean it, it's all about that I mean uh, having fun so definitely having a lot of it and we'll see how the RNG the randomness uh, is with this account number four like moonlight sevens banner heroes more chances to, i mean more molagoras that's one reason why account number four is happening molagoras for hero showcases uh it's gonna be with a more realistic gear level so yeah uh nice a catalyst right there very good very good so yeah i'm just gonna be grinding uh this uh, side story get the last catalyst out of uh there and uh, I'll move on to uh, the other stuff progressing in other places and uh, a lot of stuff a lot of stuff to do and I love this 30% experience and uh, gold buff actually that we're getting every new player for seven days that is actually huge plus the uh, the guild buffs of 10% uh, experience and gold very very nice yeah man I need to unlock a lot of stuff man uh, raid I need to unlock world boss uh, wow wow okay Try to push a tomato tower more. Uh, yeah, we're at 13, man. Gotta get it. Gotta get it done, man. All right, that's really it for this one. I'm Astronox. Peace out for now.